Seven months ago, Joe Biden said, if you harm an American, we will respond. On Friday, a senior Egi was shot in the head by Israeli soldiers in the West Bank as she was protesting an illegal settlement there. She's an American citizen. Biden lied. This is Amado Sizen, an American teacher who was shot in the West Bank on August 10th. He said, the money I've paid in my taxes as a teacher probably funded the bullet that they ran through me. This is Jacob Flickinger, an American aid worker, part of the World Central Kitchen, who was killed by an Israeli bombing on the World Central Kitchen convoy in Gaza on April 1st. This is Tafik Abdar, a 17-year-old American who was murdered in the car in the West Bank as settlers in the IDF shot up his car on January 19th of this year. This is 17-year-old Mohammed Kadur, who was shot in the head in his car in the West Bank on February 10th of this year. Biden lied. They all did. All of our politicians. There is no red line for them with Israel. Israel can continue to genocide Gaza. They can continue to ethnically cleanse the West Bank and build illegal settlements. They can continue to starve a population of 2 million people. None of this will prevent our politicians from continuing to partner with Israel on this genocide. The lives of these six Americans I just told you about means no more and no less than the 41,000 Palestinians that Israel has murdered in Gaza since October 7th. Rest in peace.